look at this weird. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I'm in such a good mood. I think it may have something to do with this. Hi, welcome to the Tipsy SD. I am Gretchen the Tipsy SD, and today's tipsiness is coming to you uh, basically from a Roman Diet Coke that is as big as my head. I have no regrets. <sighs> Sorry, the dog. <laughs> the dog is looking at me. <laughs> She's giving me like major stink eye right now. <laughs> it's making me so uncomfortable. <laughs> What you doing over there? Can I help you with something? So I have a stack of eyeshadow palettes that I have not gone through. So I was going through a bunch of them today and I thought, I am going to put together some looks and do some videos. And today is the Venice Fling palette. And this palette has some great corals, deep purples, a really cool shimmery gray. Um, some really nice shimmery neutrals. So I decided I was gonna try to put together a look with as much of this palette as I possibly could. So when I look at this palette, I can see a good four looks here, minimum. And when you're doing, when you're buying an eyeshadow palette, that should be what you're looking at is how many looks can I get out of this palette? But when I looked at this, I said, man, there's a lot of good color combinations in there. We're gonna do something a little bit more fun and vibrant and colorful today. I'm excited to see how it turns out. I have a vision in my head, but we'll see if the vision becomes reality. So before we get started, I'd like to remind everybody to please like this video and subscribe to my channel, The Tipsy SD. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please put them below. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. I was really excited. My viewership jumped from 13 to 25, so yay! <laughs> I appreciate everybody who has subscribe to my channel and pass me along. So let's get started with our Venice fling. Ugh, Venice sounds so nice right now. And to be completely honest, I'll take either California or Italy, but let's go to Venice and have some fun. We're going to be using the Tony Moly Firming I'm Red Wine Gel Eye Patch to give our eyes a little bit of love. Put these on and leave them on for five minutes. While I have these eye patches on, I'm going to talk about the skincare I did earlier. It seemed to hold up really well throughout the day. My skin was still feeling really great and I don't like to mask with my skin if I don't have to. So I started with cleansing with the Tony Moly Peach Punch Cleanser. And I have to tell you, I absolutely loved this cleanser. The smell was amazing. My skin felt super clean when I was done, but not stripped. Then I followed it with the Neogen Real Ferment Micro Essence. This is a hydrating essence. I use it also as in place of my toner. And then I did the Laboratoria Philorgia uh, Oxygen Glow for my eye cream. It gives my skin a really nice under eye uh, illumination which is good because I've had some allergy issues lately so I've had some puffiness and dark circles. I'm trying a new daytime serum this week. This is from Sohuasu and it's called First Care. It's just a nice anti-aging serum. I'm trying to get rid of some of these wrinkles. And then last but not least, Cure Ultra Hydrating 12 Hour Facial Moisturizer. It's a little bit heavier than I would usually wear under makeup during the day. However, since I knew I wasn't going anywhere today and wasn't planning on putting on any makeup until later, I decided just to let it kind of stay and my skin feels amazing and hydrated. As always, I put on a hydrating lip balm as well. Um, this is the Tony Moly Lip Tone uh, Lip Care Stick in Rose Blossom and I'm going to do that again right now. There's still a little time left before I take off the eye patches, so why not enjoy a little refreshment? After the time is up, remove the eye pads and then tap in the excess serum. 
I'm gonna use a pea-sized amount of the VDL Luma Layer Primer to not only help put my makeup on easier and make it last longer, but also to give my skin a really pretty glow. So since I've got some allergies going, I'm going to try something that I've never tried before, which is a color corrector. And I'm using MUD's color corrector, and um, it is the orange shade that is meant to hide dark circles. So how this works is you pat it onto the dark areas of your skin. I'll be applying that with a Bokashi concealer brush. And then blend it, you know, you kind of let it set. You blend it out a little bit, but not much. And then you put the other products on top of it. Now it's time to build the foundation. I'll be using the Tarte Water Foundation in the color Fairlight Neutral with the LaRousse LR331 Flat Angle Brush and apply that all over my face using light strokes. Be careful applying any of the product over any of the areas that we've corrected. We'll be using a different method to apply foundation and concealer in those areas. Don't forget to blend the product up into your hairline, as well as going over your eyelids if you want. Blend down the neck to make sure that you don't look like you're wearing a mask. A damp Morphe Jeffree Star Beauty Sponge, uh, the large size, will be used to blend out any harsh lines from the brush, as well as making sure product is over the corrected areas. Trying a new concealer today, the Kosas Revealer Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer in shade 01, applying that with a MAC 190 foundation brush. Ordinarily, I swipe on concealer, but since I'm using the color corrector, I'm going to be tapping it on, and I'm also gonna make sure I cover my eyes. Draw it down onto the top of your cheekbones so you don't have that strange reverse raccoon look. Dab any spots that may also need concealing, and since it's a highlighting concealer, I'm gonna highlight the places on my face that I like to be highlighted, which is my cupid's bow and my chin, as well as making sure the corners of my nose are covered. I'm now going to take one of the smaller sponges out of that Morphe and Jeffree Star beauty sponge package and blend out my concealer over my eyes and everywhere that I placed it. Setting the under eyes with the Sephora Matte Perfection Powder Foundation in Fair Neutral using a MAC 170 rounded slant face brush. I'm going to just dab the color onto my skin. I'm not going to brush it because I don't want to move that product around. Using the Ciate London Extraordinary Translucent Setting Powder with a LaRousse Cosmetics LR360 Tapered Face Brush, I'm going to lightly set the rest of my foundation, putting a very small amount of powder on my brush and then tapping it onto my face. Can I help you with something? A little drink to calm my nerves. I think I deserve that. Also, I finished my foundation, so it's time to move on to the eyes. Starting with the brows, I'll be using Billion Dollar Brows Brow Powder in the color Taupe to give my brows some structure and fill in any place I have holes or bald spots. The brush that comes with the powder has a little spoolie on the other side, so brush out the color to make it look more even. To set the brows in place, I'm going to use the Wander Beauty Eyebrow Gel in clear.
No, I was supposed to use an eye primer, but forgot. So we're jumping right in with that Venice Fling eyeshadow palette using the color Tan Line. And I'm going to apply that with the 65E Large Shading Brush by Farrah. Now I'm using this color because it happened to match my skin tone and I was looking for a base. So adjust accordingly to your own skin tone. What's the matter, Bubs? You wanna go single peepees? Let me take you outside. Okay, Rico potty break time. It's the greatest day of his life. He gets steak. <laughs> oh, you my bubs, huh? There's no more. You wanna go sit on the couch? Okay. Now I'm grabbing some of Rose Tattoo with the Farrah 3 Mini Tapered Blending Brush. We're gonna put color all over the lid, really packing it in. You want this to be vibrant. Go all the way from the lash to your crease, inner corner to outer corner, and really get that color packed in tightly. Now we're gonna blend out the edges of our lid color uh, with Bonfire using Laura Makeup Lab's Queen Blending Brush. You wanna blend out that edge and really blur it. Take your time. Use windshield wiper motions going back and forth. You can also do small circles, but you don't wanna go way far up. It's a bright look, so it needs to be soft around the edges. Going back to the palette for Puppy Love, we're going to use the Farrah 6 Short Shading Brush and we're going to pack that color into the corner of your lid. You want to lightly blend it out. You can give yourself a little bit of a wink if you'd like and you can draw it into the middle of the lid. But the goal is to give your eye some dimension without losing that beautiful bright coral color. Go back with that Laura Makeup Labs Queen Blending Brush and blend everything together with Bonfire, just taking off any harsh edges. Now to add some fun, we're gonna jump back into the palette and grab some soul on our MOTD Pigment Packer Brush. And we're gonna pack that color into the inner corner of the eye. Now you're gonna blend it slightly into the middle of a lid, but you again wanna keep as much of the coral as you can. You're also gonna blend that up into the crease, but don't go over the color you already have established. Finally, put a little bit under the inner corner's lower lash line. Now go back for roller skates and using the Farrah 205 Fly Wings brush, you're gonna create a lower lash line wing. You're gonna do small dashes, continually building up the color. You don't need to do it all in one little swoop. You're gonna draw that wing into the middle of your lower lash line as well. Don't go into the corner because you've already got some of that lovely sole there. Still using the color roller skates, use the MOTD Pencil Me In brush to give yourself a little bit more precise color, keeping it closer to the lash line. Now grab some Venice Fling with your Morphe Pointed Mini Blender brush and trace inside up against your la lower lash line to give it a little bit of depth. You want some of that purple to still peek through. I wasn't planning on doing an eyeliner, but then I decided to take the Pixie Beauty Endless Silky Eye Pencil in Bronze Beam and do a tight line. And then that evolved into doing a very thin line along the lash line that fed into the wing. Use small dashes to connect the line, that way you can stay close to the lash line.
Last stop for the eyes is Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions in the color Bryn. Give your eyelashes two really healthy coats, making sure you coat everything from the lash line to the tip, including the corners, and give the lower lash line a quick coat as well. Contouring and bronzing are going to be done with the Nomad Cosmetics Kiss of Sun Palette Sydney Bathers using Manly Beach and the LaRousse LR342 Contour Blending Brush. You're going to create a crescent shape going from under your cheekbone up to your temple. Start by swiping on the color under the cheekbone and then using circular motions to go up through the temple. Keep the color off your apple of the cheek and the top of the cheekbone. Start building up the color under the cheekbone to give more definition by placing at the hairline and drawing it towards the corner of the mouth. Make sure you blend all hard edges with circular motions. Then you're going to start highlighting anywhere the sun would hit, and that would include your hairline. You also want to contour your jawline, drawing the color down the neck, as well as carving out your chin. Put some color on the sides of your nose, shading into your inner orbital bone. And don't forget underneath the nose and under your lower lip. The Ofra Madison Miller Blush and Sweet Stuff and the SL Miss Glam P40 Round Blush Brush will give some warmth to your cheeks. Keep the color slightly off the apple right where the cheekbone starts and swirl some color around and draw back to the hairline. Try to keep from overlapping the contour and the bronzer and use circular motions to blend the edges. Highlighting with that Nomad Cosmetics palette again, this time using Balmoral Beach and the e.l.f. highlighting brush, you're going to swirl some of the color onto the apple of your cheek and then draw it back on top of the cheekbone. Try to avoid too much overlap because it makes it look muddy. Then lightly bring some down the bridge of the nose, on the cupid's bow, and on the point of the chin. Finish off the look with Tarte Sugar Rush Velvet Liquid Lipstick in Cupcake. Line the lower lip and fill it in first, and then define the cupid's bow and fill in the top lid second. Set everything into place with the Laura Geller Speckle Mist Restore. And here's the final look. I have to tell you, I am obsessed with it. At first I thought it was a little too over the top, but honestly, you could do this for work. It looks great by itself. It looks great behind a mask. Yeah, this just turned out way better than I had even thought it was going to. You can see it behind my glasses. Um, it looks, I'm looking at myself in the camera and I can just see my blue eyes just like jumping out. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed making it and um, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, as I'm filming this, we're going into the holidays. With holidays, you have to deal with family and here's mine. I have the two creepers and this guy who I'm pretty sure has to poop. Yeah, I think you guys to poop, huh? I hope everybody's doing well. I had a great time doing this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you guys all again soon. Um, remember to subscribe and like this channel. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and I will see you again soon. Cheers. I think he's ready to go outside and go poops. Come on. Oh. <laughs>